Hello, happy Tylers. So what I want to talk to you today about is a clone tool and are we going to apply it to our fabric? And there are many reasons why you want to use a clone tool. It could be like to remove an extra information, a thread, lint, dirt, anything that can come with your fabric right off the scanner. So let's say, for example, here, I want to remove these uh, two tiny white threads here, because if they're going to repeat themselves, it will make like a new pattern that I, I don't want. So I'm going to hit the clone tool. And with the clone tool, there is the brush size that you can adjust. And you can see that the circle gets bigger or smaller. I usually try to like to save it that's too big. I want to have it in the size of the stitch or the like the area that I want to remove. There we go. That that looks good to me. And there's the hardness. So the hardness will determine the the area around your clone tool, the feather area, and the way that it will um, blend into the surface, into the background. So I usually choose 30 here. And let's say that's the area that I want to copy to that area. That so I will remove this white thread. I'm gonna hit Alt, left click here. There we go. And I'll get to the right place and left click. Perfect. Now zoom out a little bit. Go to the next area that you wanna that you wanna fix. Zoom in. And now I need to. I need to choose the area that I'm cloning again. So I'll hit Alt. I'll take that area. I'll come here and left click. And I can like just, you know, left click again, left click again. It will keep walking with me for my area. And there we go. My, my fabric is clean and ready for me to work. And of course, don't forget to apply. I'll hit apply save the changes and you're ready to continue in your tiling work. So good luck.